A court of thorns and roses follows fair Archeron, a mortal huntress in a world divided between humans and fairies. While hunting, Fair kills a fairy disguised as a wolf and is taken to the spring court as punishment by Tamlin, the High Lord. Fair learns about the curse known as the blight that threatens the fairy lands, including the spring court. Tamlin reveals his true fae form, and Fair discovers the beauty of the fairy world. Lucien, Tamlin's friend, is initially hostile toward Fair, but they gradually become friends. Fair experiences the spring court's opulence and attends extravagant parties. Tamlin and Fair grow closer, and their feelings for each other deepen into love. Fair learns about the ancient treaty between humans and fairies that prevents conflict. The mysterious and cunning High Lord of the Night Court, Resand, makes an unsettling bargain with Fair. Fair faces the three trials to break the curse, a trial of wit, strength, and emotional challenges. During the trials, Fair discovers her dormant magical abilities and realizes she is more than just a mortal. Fair's relationship with Tamlin becomes strained as the trials progress, but they reunite after the final trial. Resand interferes during the last trial, causing tension between him and Fair. Fair reveals her love for Tamlin, which saves him from a life-threatening curse. In the final confrontation with the wicked Queen Amarantha, Fair kills her and breaks the curse. The curse breaking unleashes a powerful and ancient magic that engulfs the fairy realm. The fairy lands are freed from the blight, and the spring court is restored to its former glory. Fair's sisters, Nesta and Elaine, are also brought to the fairy realm and transformed into Fae. Fair is offered the chance to return to the human world, but she chooses to stay with Tamlin. Fair and Tamlin's love is cemented, and they decide to rebuild their lives together. Fair feels conflicted about leaving her family behind in the human world. Fair becomes involved in fairy politics and intrigue as she adjusts to life in the spring court. Tamlin becomes overprotective of Fair, leading to tension in their relationship. Fair discovers a hidden threat within the spring court and feels increasingly trapped. The annual celebration of Kalanme takes place, and Fair witnesses unsettling rituals. Resand claims his bargain with Fair, and she must spend one week per month with him at the night court. Fair struggles with the emotional toll of her agreement with Resand. Fair befriends the High Fae, Alice, who helps her navigate the fairy world. Resand is revealed to be more complex than he initially seemed, and he confides in Fair about his true intentions. Fair discovers a hidden power within herself, a legacy from an ancient fairy queen. Fair learns about the dark past of the Night Court and Resand's burden as its High Lord. Fair and Resand's relationship evolves into a deep friendship built on trust and mutual understanding. Fair uncovers a plot threatening the fairy lands, and she must use her newfound power to stop it. Fair's loyalty to the spring court is tested, and she starts questioning her place in the fairy world. Fair's sisters undergo their own transformations, facing challenges and changes as new fae. Fair seeks guidance from the Suriel, an ancient and powerful creature with prophetic abilities. The tension between the human and fairy worlds escalates, and Fair realizes the delicate balance of peace. Fair and Resan's bond deepens further, and they share unspoken feelings. Fair makes a difficult decision to break the curse that binds her to Resan. The story sets the stage for further adventures, as Fair must navigate her heart, loyalty, and the brewing war between the Fae and humans.